everybody and welcome to General House and today's Sunday Challenge. I hope you enjoyed last week's challenge. Do you remember what it was? Yes, we had great fun here in Jumble House making things from those objects. The challenge was to use all of them, but nothing more and nothing less. And our favourite model was this one. We think it looks a bit like a pig. And it's great fun because it stands on one leg and wobbles about. We made this other one too, but I'm not sure what he reminds me of. And we also made another one, but that's a surprise one because it's for Halloween. So we're not going to show it to you today. Today we're going to be looking at a different kind of printmaking. We're going to be using coloured pencils on fabric. And we decorated this bag and also an old pillow slip. The pencils we're using are special ones for printing and they're really good because you can draw them on dry or on wet fabric. We got the idea from this cushion cover which has a spider's web on which has been done in these pencils and then this giant spider has been embroidered on top and we thought it would be really cool to make a bag like this for Halloween and then we could put our jumble spider onto the web. There are two ways to make the web. If you want to make a circular one like this, you just get different sizes of bowls and draw around them. Starting with the big one and then going smaller and smaller. If you just press on very lightly with a pencil, then take the bowls off and go over in your crayons because that way you can press on a lot better. We wanted a web that looked like the one that we made for Jumble Spider and so that wasn't a round web, that was kind of angular and so we copied that shape of web onto the cloth. Once you've sketched the pattern on with your crayons, you then get some water and a nice big soft brush and you brush all over with the water. Can you see what happens? Yes, all the colours start to run. It's important that you keep getting fresh water on your brush and that you only go in one direction. When all the cloth has been covered and you're happy with the result, you let it dry and then you can iron it. That sets the colours. We were really pleased with our bag and put the jumble spider onto it. He looks really quite at home. Then we thought we could do a project together and we decided to use a butterfly shape and some leaves so we got an old pillar slip but first of all we practiced on a small piece of cloth, drew around a butterfly shape and filled it in with different colours and then wet it. We all had a go, we did a different butterfly each 
And when we were happy with the design, we drew them onto the large pillow slip. It made a really cool pillow slip, but I think it would also make a really good drawstring bag. I think we'll all be making one of our own over the next few weeks. So that's all from me, Georgie, and everybody at Jumble House for today. I hope you've enjoyed the printmaking. But before I go, there is next week's challenge to think about. And for next week's challenge, we are going to see what we can make from fur cones. At this time of the year, there are lots and lots of fur cones about, and it's really fun making them into different kinds of objects, or maybe into little characters, animals, or people. If you want to send in any of your photographs from any of the other challenges, or from this week's challenge, just email them to us at jumblefun at gmail.com. We do need the permission of an adult, but we will only print your first name, no other contact details.